Hello, this is Alex. I'm going to be doing my audio file, and this is my a narrative, short personal narrative of my journey and uh, my relocation. So, in 2012, my husband, who was not my husband at the time, and I decided to take life up a different route because we were both living in Washington and, you know, jobs were not as uh, frequent as we would like them to be. And I had just gotten out of school for aesthetics care and my husband had previous debt from school. And so my father-in-law told us about, well, why don't you guys come up to Barrow? Because there's some jobs up here that we need filled and you guys could work up here and make some good money. And so we decided to do that and we were not sure where Barrow was at. My husband has been to Alaska before I resumed. So my husband had been to Alaska before and he uh, had told me, yeah, Barrow is, is very far north and he had never been there before. When we looked it up, I could not believe it was all the way at the tip top of the earth. And I remember trying to look at YouTube videos of Barrow, Alaska, and I found one and it was like uh, somebody that did like a high school project of some sort where they walked through and they showed the prices on the milk and on orange juice and cereal and chips and vegetables and the prices were outrageous and they showed some like walrus uh, skinning and back then I just thought it was so crazy looking at this, looking at this um, just looked like a whole, it didn't even look like the United States to me, it just looked like a whole another world on this YouTube video. And then I tried looking up on Google Maps the roads, and I tried to get a 3D view of everything, but there's no, never been a Google car up here to really see the 3D view. So I had no idea what I was getting myself into, and I just was like, okay, I'm just going to, we're just going to go do this together, go embark on this journey together. And I bought a parka, and I remember I went through many coats that I thought were warm enough, and my father-in-law told me, no, 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 you can't bring that one. That's not warm enough because it's only, it's not made with any down. And I did not know what down was. And then I started to discover more about wool and down and merino wool and warm things that actually function up here and not just your basic cotton or acrylics. And then my husband and I, well, at the time he wasn't my husband. I mentioned that earlier. We took off on a flight. And it was one of the longest flights I've ever been on to travel somewhere. And when we went up there, it was about January. And it was very scary because we went up there and we had to land in the Fairbanks airport. And it was complete darkness. And this is the first time I've ever seen this where it was complete darkness from 7 a.m., 8 a.m. to noon to I don't remember how long we were there for, but it was complete darkness. And I just remember thinking, oh, my gosh, like, I feel like I'm not even on this planet I feel like I'm on the moon you know just like looking outside and it was complete darkness like I didn't feel like I was on the earth and then we had to fly up to Barrow and that was even more nuts because when I got off the plane because I didn't get off the plane in Fairbanks I just well I had to walk inside of the airplane but I didn't really get to see just exactly what I was dealing with And when I went up to Barrow, we walked outside and there was a blizzard and it was dark and all there were were lights were the street lights and it was like three in the afternoon and it was just the craziest experience walking off that plane and it was freezing and when I remember when I took in a breath of air, people told me it was like a different kind of cold, you know, like there's like in Washington, there's a wet cold and then in the way up there in the Arctic or just, you know, even in the Midwest, but in, in Barrow, it's more of like a dry, dry cold. And when I, when I would breathe in, it would, my lungs would kind of freeze a bit and my nose would instantly get dry and my hair would start to turn white. I've never experienced anything like that in my entire life. Um, so is this still recording? Yep, it is. So um, to kind of speed up the story, because that part always takes the longest, um, my husband and I, we started working and I eventually, after a couple months, paid off my entire debt for school and he paid off his entire debt. We were here for exactly five and a half months straight 
And with only a year of dating and being here for exactly five and a half months straight with cabin fever, my husband ended up, I mean, my boyfriend at the time, (laughs) I keep on saying that, he ended up proposing to me underneath the Northern Lights in in March. And then I accepted and we, we were married that year in 2012. And after I had been to Barrow, so we were engaged and then we got married that summer. But we only stayed, so we stayed in Barrow from January. We got engaged in March. We left in June, and then we got married in August. And so when I left Barrow in June, I was like, I and my husband and I agreed. We were like, we will never go back there again. It was just too hard. We stayed there for five and a half months straight. It was just too intense to try and stay in one place for too long and too cold. Yeah, and but we made friends. We made friends, and... We felt good about our financial status and something about, it was about November that I felt like this urge where I wanted to go back to Barrow and I was like, oh my goodness, I miss that place. I don't know what it is about Barrow, but I miss it. So we ended up packing up and going back again in January of 2013 and that's when I started taking classes from Illisavik College and, you know, to try and make this long narrative story shorter, I pretty much... Full, got fully immersed in Barrow and I started talking to people and networking and my life has just taken off so wonderfully from there and I was able to get in touch with Elisavik College and take classes and then get in touch with um, being a <clears throat> counselor for the summer for the summer health allied health camps and teaching middle school and high school students about Uh, the many different health careers that are available on the North Slope and trying to get these students who are interested in medical careers to uh, pursue that and not just, you know, think about it and wonder about it, but actually go on these camps and uh, take them on tours and enter and, you know, have them talk to a nurse, talk to doctors, talk to dentists or dental hygienists, CNAs, and, you know, just get their foot in the door so they can, you know, be uh, better uh, members for the community and um, be more involved with their community and we especially take much emphasis uh, emphasis to uh, Native students to push them to um, you know work in those hospitals and have those jobs so it would it would be better for their community I'll pause for a second resuming again um, so from there, uh, about the second, cause I've taught the summer health camp three years in a row. The second time I did it, I had this epiphany and I talked to this one nurse and I decided that I wanted to start doing nursing prerequisites at Elisagovic college. And from there I was already doing my liberal arts degree and I started, I switched over and did my allied health. I, I started going for more allied health. And then from there, I gained the prerequisites, all the prerequisites from Ely Salkovic College, applied to a nursing school in Gus Davis, and I was accepted. And now my life has been planned out for me in the future for the next couple of years to know that all I have to do is finish nursing school. And then my plan is to relocate back here in Barrow to give back to the community that has given me so much because, you know, from the time I came into Barrow to the time now, my perspective of this wonderful area has changed so much. I have made so many friends, and it has been one huge long journey. I know it says, you know, personal short narrative, but, and I know it's been over the course of five years, but it's, um, this whole relocation is no longer, I mean, in the beginning it was a relocation. Now this is my life. My Barrow is my life. I want to be a part of this community. I want to, you know, go to school, come back and help this community. I want to be a a member of this community in Barrow and always stay that way. And I've gotten to know many families here and I love seeing the children's faces and they know my name and know who I am. And it's just a wonderful feeling. And so I hope I covered everything. I hope I didn't leave anything out. I kind of jumped because I didn't want to go on too long. That is my narrative, and this is Alex Greep. Thank you.